Level 3, based on National Curriculum Description Levelers. We're going to look at data handling, handling data. And first it's bar charts, or bar graphs, bar charts, bar graphs. Show data, data being the information, and using a bar chart. Draw a bar chart of the given data. So we've got method of going to school. Six people walk, five people go by bus, eight people use their bike, and three people car. So the first thing is we need a pair of axes. We should always label our axes. So along here I'm going to write method of travel. And up here I just say how many pupils. So we must always label our axes and then we'll start the bar. As long as the bars are all the same width we'll label this one here walk and that's got to go up to six. So with a ruler and then we could write down there either down there or walk there. Five people go by bus that's halfway between four and six so label that, or we could write bus there, 8 go by cycle, so that's there, I should be using a ruler, and I would in an exam, either write it there or down there, and 3 you go by car. So as long as you label your axes, how many pupils, method of travel, there's your bar chart. You should also be able to understand pictograms. So to show data using a pictogram. So either we have to draw the pictogram or read the pictogram. So here's a pictogram about the number of parcels being delivered. It needs a key. And the key is that each of the diagrams of a parcel are in fact four parcels. So we've got two parcels there represent two forces eight parcels there now this is half of that parcel that must be four parcels there that must be two parcels there so that's six altogether so each of these diagrams is four parcels three fours are twelve so I've got three fours of twelve there and then this two at the end is fourteen now this is half of that so this is four parcels, four parcels, four parcels, one. So that's 13. And that gives us the parcels delivered on each day during the week. Pictogram must have a key showing what each picture is valued at. Now, interpreting tables. Interpret tables. So we have a table with some information on it. And it's about travelling to school in this case. So the information is we know the pu pupil's name. We know their ages. We know whether they're boys or therefore girls as well. So that's yes a boy, no a boy, therefore that must be a girl. Whether they walk or do something else. So the people that don't walk, we don't know what they do. They may go by car, they may go by bike. We don't know what they do. We only know the yeses definitely walk. So, get some questions to see if we understand and are able to interpret the table. Which girl walks to school? So there's a girl there. There's a girl there. It's because it says no boy. And this is the one that walks. Yes, Sue walks. Which boy does not walk to school? So the boys are the yeses. Tom, David, Bill. Yes boy, yes boy, yes boy. So which of those boys does not walk to school? Well, David doesn't. David is a no walking to school and he's a boy. So he goes some other way. Who's the oldest pupil? So there's the ages. So 15, the oldest pupil is Sue. The youngest pupil, is it a boy or a girl? So there's the youngest pupil at 12. Yes, it's a boy and it's Bill. Boy, Bill. 
So that's interpreting tables, some information on a table, and you have to interpret the information.